Today, I'm gonna be renovating one of my subscribers' house in Bloxburg. So this is Hot Dog. <laughs> I think that's what her name is. That's what her username says. She has all the game passes except the large plot and her current budget is around 116,000. And for her desired style, she asked me if I could do a cozy beach house. And if you guys want me to renovate your Bloxburg house, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel or you can join my Discord server with the link in my description. She's wearing my suit merch. That is so cute. I made a suit on my Roblox group. Okay, do you wanna show me around your beautiful mansion? So first we have our fireworks show. Oh, a lot of fire, can I let them off? Light or, what does that mean? Uh, that, that wasn't me. My question though is why on earth she has 30 fireworks on her plot. Anyway, this is what the outside looks like. As you can see, it's nothing too fancy smanchy. The outside is so cutesy. Yeah, it's really adorable. It's giving mansion. Oh, okay. Um, right. I don't know what on earth this is. Okay, yeah, this definitely needs a big renovation. <laughs> don't go back there. Too late. I've already seen what I had to see. Okay, hopefully the inside will be a little bit better. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's definitely a house. It's kind of giving starter house. She sent me a few photos of it and I'm just like, girl, Please let me help you. <laughs> My subscribers can't be living like this. I need to help you guys. The kitchen. Okay, this is the kitchen. You know what? You know what? It's not a bad kitchen. It has everything you need. You can see the fire on my plot. If you didn't know, when I renovate your guys' plot, you have access to my workstation, all my cars, and there's also like a little ramp here. The living room, you just sit on the floor and stare at the wonderful wall. <laughs> I love this show. This is such a good show. Well, as you can see, she doesn't really have much. Well, she doesn't have anything in her living room, so I'm definitely going to enjoy giving her a little bit of flavor. I mean, you know what? It's got a nice layout. Okay, what's in here? I'm thinking this is the bedroom, as you can see by the bed. The massive bedroom. Yeah, it's actually pretty spacious. You can fit a bed. Wonderful, darling. Okay, last room back here. Hopefully, this is the bathroom. Oh, okay. So, this is the bathroom. We just have a toilet. We don't have anything else. Wait, where do we wash our hands? We don't have a sink. You can also pee on the floor if you don't make it. Oh, I probably shouldn't be walking on this grass then. That's kind of gross. Okay, well, she doesn't have a floor in the bathroom, which is kind of concerning. Before I start renovating her house, House. I need to see if this ramp actually works. I made her a ramp so she doesn't get bored. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, well, she has her fun in the back. I'm going to start working on her house. Okay, the first thing I need to do is get rid of all these fireworks because, I mean, why on earth does she have so many? A few moments later. Okay, now that all her fireworks are done, finally, the only problem I have is why her house is so far back. Now, the first thing I want to do is get rid of the roof and everything outside. We're really going to start off by scratch here because, as you can see, we don't really have much going on in here. Like, goodbye, kitchen. You will be missed. Not really, but... And bedroom, goodbye. Weird back room with your weird looking toilet. Okay, so this is the house so far. <laughs> now, usually in my renovations, I try to keep the layout like pretty similar, but as you can see, her house is really small and she does have a relatively high budget. So I definitely think we can extend this house a little bit, make it a little bit more spacious, if you will. So I just gave her two extra rooms here. I obviously want to give her a bigger bedroom than she had before. And this is where the kitchen's going to go. This isn't even a house renovation. This is literally a house demolishing video. There is nothing in here. Now for the roof, we're still going to use a gable roof like she used before. So I reckon first roof like this. Okay, so I also added a little slanted roof at the front where the balcony is going to go. And now it is time to paint the walls. So for a beachy theme, I think we're going to use a mixture of vertical planks and like white concrete. I don't know why, but I feel like that combo would look really good together. Okay, I think that's cute for the walls. We're also going to give her house a little bit more structure by going around and adding plain pillars. Oh, and you know what? We're also going to add like wood paling at the bottom here. I want this to be the most detailed beach house you have ever seen. I want her to walk into this house and be like, damn, that's a good looking house. Okay, and now for the windows. But what if I use these large horizontal windows and put these at the top here? Actually, you know what? We have a pretty big budget. We're going to go fancy. We're going to use these framed windows. Oh my gosh, I can see her. Guys, I can see her up there. What is she doing? Clearly someone's having fun with my car. Oh my gosh, these framed windows are so cute. She's going full fast and furious up in here. Like, <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go around the house and add a few windows spice it up a little bit if you know what I mean. All my renovations, I have never, not once, ran out of a budget. Like even if you guys give me small budgets, I will never run out. Like I refuse to spend all your money. I feel bad. Oh my gosh, I love when I place the windows symmetrically. Okay, now that the outside is done, we can finally start working on the front yard. So I want there to be like two pretty gardens out here and a nice long footpath. I don't know why she decided to make her house so far away from the plot. Honestly, who knows? I feel like some planks out here would look really nice. Okay, now to give 
give her a nice luscious garden. I didn't even think she had a garden before. Oh, she did actually. She had like four bushes, but that's about it. And out here, I'm just going to give her a cute little outdoor chair and table. So like a little bench right there. That way she can just watch the sunset on her bench. It's going to be a total vibe. You know what? I never use jungle leaves for the, my texture and I'm not going to start now. You guys thought I was going to use them, didn't you? <laughs> Get pranked. We need to, of course, place some palm trees around her house. Accentuate that whole beach house feel. I actually don't even know what accentuate means. It was just the first word that popped into my brain. I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's use that word. All right, I think the outside is done. Now it is time to work on the inside. So because she wanted like a cozy beach house, maybe some like wood paling at the bottom here. Okay, considering this is gonna be her bedroom, we need to make sure it's nice and pretty. Okay, so now that all the walls are painted, wait, we forgot a floor. Yes, we definitely need to add a floor. Did you see her floor before? In her bathroom, there was no floor. I am disgusted. I am disgusting. I'm kidding guys. I don't judge. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> what has she done to my car? No. Y'all, she just crashed my entire car collection. Okay, anyway. Okay, so when you walk in, this is kind of the entry area. So I reckon a nice like a log console table right there. And then like on top of this, we can have some seashells. Make it nice and beachy. You know what Bloxburg should add to the game? A seashell lamp. I think the reason everyone wants me to do a beachy interior lately is because it's currently summer in like 90% of the world. How does it feel, guys? How does it feel to live in summer while I'm living in winter? But you know what? I actually love winter. It's my favorite season. So wow, that entry area, beautiful. <gasps> Oh, Y'all, you know what I just realized I didn't add? <laughs> a bathroom. This, this actually works out perfectly because then we can add the bathroom in this corner. So when you walk in, there's kind of like a massive empty space here. So I feel like that is the perfect place to add a bookshelf. I used to struggle a lot with what to do with empty spaces. And lots of you guys just told me to like add bookshelves and like fill them in. And it actually turns out super good. So I'm also going to put some photos in here because for some reason, I just always forget to add photos. She also has a giant seashell. You know what? We'll put this right there as soon as you walk in. Oh, we also need to give her some curtains so there's like no creeps looking in aka my character have you seen how creepy my <laughs> oh my gosh why does that loki look like a meme oh yeah someone turned this into a meme i don't know why it just looks like a meme okay our beautiful entry area is done i reckon it's like the perfect mixture of like beachy and cozy so now we've got the living room so i think we're gonna put this along this wall here because i made sure to add no windows here that way i could place a fireplace like that and then we'll give her a nice big tv because she deserves it wait blocksburg has phones oh my gosh we're so adding a phone like right there i don't think we need it but we're adding it that's literally every single time i build something for you guys i'm like i don't think they need it but i'm gonna add it anyway y'all so far this house isn't looking anything like it was before and we're not even halfway done oh okay guys we now officially have ninety nine thousand dollars left i'm not gonna lie to you i've been kind of forgetting that we're on a budget so we're gonna have to be careful now make sure not to go overboard with our budget now i really want to add like this sleek sofa chair right here but it's 1800 and because we're on a pretty tight budget I think instead we're just going to be using this simple sofa which is only 120 because guess what we can be bougie on a budget I also added like a little beach chair in the corner give it like a beachy vibe Okay, two little pillows here. Actually, no, we're only gonna add one pillow now I'm scared to add anything. Why do I feel like I'm gonna run out of a budget? Oh my gosh, wait this wicker coffee table is so cute Why have I never added that before? We're so using that now typically I would put something on the coffee table But considering we're pretty tight on a budget, we're not gonna be doing that We're also gonna copy this console table and add it on this little empty wall over here with a few more paintings because I feel like every beach home needs like lots of paintings. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna get rid of the chandelier and instead we're gonna have a fan because I mean it's a beach house. It's gonna be hot and we need a fan. Also because it's more cheap and I don't want to run out of a budget. Um, what? I didn't say anything. Okay, there we go. Living room. Capiche. Done. Now we need the dining room. Actually, before we add the dining room, I think we might add the kitchen and then see where the dining room goes from there. Now this is gonna be a pretty cheap kitchen so we're just gonna use the cheapest counters which are the shaker counters. Honestly, I add them all the time. I love them actually. I'm in love with them. I'm in love with shaker counters. Okay, you know what? This kitchen is actually the perfect size because then I can just put the oven right here. And I mean, there you go. It's looking beautiful. Actually, I feel like we need more cabinets up the top though. So I think I'm going to use a few of these glass cabinets and just do something like that. Also, I have no idea how you actually fill in these cabinets. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I'm going to mix the kitchen up a little bit. I think the cabinets might be white while the counters are a wood texture. And sorry, but you get the cheapest fridge because I'm kind of making you poor by using all your money. <laughs> 
<laughs> are we on a budget yes am i giving her an island bench also yes and on top of this we'll have a little flower oh my god wait a flower with some lemons <gasps> wait why is that so cute okay why is this island bench actually the cutest thing i've ever made in my life why did i just spend like 300 dollars on books no alaska stop i need to keep looking at my budget and like alaska control yourself i love how i'm like guys i'm not gonna spend my money on stupid stuff and then i spent 160 dollars on decorative jars but the thing is she wanted a cozy house so if i leave her house empty it's not gonna be cozy now is it can you like stop killing each other oh my gosh my cat can you stop stop fighting stop fighting like why are you fighting i go to film a video what do they do start attacking each other Okay, I think that is the kitchen done. No, because I actually love it. I love this kitchen. I want to eat it. If I could eat a kitchen, I would eat this kitchen. Guys, I just kicked Salem out of my room because he kept fighting with his sister. And now he wants to come back in my room. We need to figure out where the dining room's going to go. And I think maybe in this corner, we can have like a round dining table moment. I feel like that could potentially look really cute. Guys, I know we're on a budget, but I really want to buy this uh, round table. She's probably freaking out. She's like, oh, Alaska babe, my money's running out. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I actually don't know what I'm doing. See, this is my problem. I go into a category. I scroll all the way down. I'm like, mm, let's buy the most expensive chair on the menu. We're buying these arch chairs. They're only $150 and they look cute. And just like that, boom, you got chairs. Wait, what is she doing on my plot, by the way? Oh my gosh. So much for you guys using my workstation. All right, so for the dining table, even though we're on a budget, I'm still going to set the table, make it nice and pretty. There's also just like something missing back here. So we shall be adding another lemon bowl. Okay, I think that is the dining table done. Another thing I need to add in here is more candles to make it more cozy because right now we are lacking in the candle department and you know me i love my candles so like i literally have so many candles in my bedroom it's actually a safety hazard with the amount of candles i have in my room okay so the kitchen and the dining room are done so now we can finally start working on the bathroom For the bathroom i think we might make this out of concrete and because we're on a budget we're only going to use this 480 dollars bathtub and then above this we can have the shower and to make this nice and cozy we can have a few candles around the bathtub we also need a store storage shelf here where we can put all these soap and she also has a few waterfalls in her inventory so to give it like a nice luxurious feel we'll put these waterfalls back here like that and oh my gosh why is this bathroom like literally everything though now i think i might fit the toilet over here and then over in this corner is where we can have the sink and you know what for this sink we're going to be using a modern counter is it expensive yes is it worth it you know what probably not but we're adding it anyway okay and for the mirror instead of a regular mirror i know this is so dumb but we're buying a $700 fancy painting. We're also gonna have a few pendants up here. It's probably not the safest option, like the lights being right next to the water, but okay. And just like that, our bathroom is all finished. So now we have the bedroom. Now, considering her bedroom before was literally just a log single bed, I think anything will be an upgrade from that. So I think what we're going to do to spice this up is add pillars around the bed. So four on each corner like this, and then place four walls around it. And boom, smack an opening in, and place a long curved curtain like this. And I mean, there you go. You've got a nice fancy bed. Fanciest bed in all of Bloxburg, I say. You know what? Speaking of fancy, we're just going to use fancy furniture sets. I know I said I was like on a budget and we have to be careful, but considering we've got like 75,000 left and we've only got like the backyard to do, I'd say we can be pretty lenient. Oh my gosh, one of you guys asked me if um I could renovate your house and I go, of course, what's your budget? And they go, $38. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't know why, but making beds in Bloxburg is like so therapeutic. I used to hate it, but now I love it. Okay, fancy bench at the end of her bed. We're going to give her a fireplace in the bedroom. And then for her clothes, we will just give her a dresser over here. Okay, and just like that, her bedroom is finished. So the last thing I want to add is obviously the backyard and the balcony. So it's kind of going to extend into like a U shape like this. There was a point in time where I actually thought we we're going to run out of a budget. I'm also just going to add like lots of palm trees in the backyard, which I'm not going to lie, is probably going to take up majority of her budget. And in the backyard is where I want to have a little fireplace moment. So I'll just add a few of these beach sun chairs. Finally, a grill back here in case she wants to have a little barbecue. Okay, so Ken's house is all renovated. And now it is time to show her the finished product. I don't know where she is though. Oh my god. <laughs> is she flying in? Talk about an elegant entrance. Like, what is this? She is full flying in here. Oh my gosh. Yo, uh, Kent, what's she up to, mate? What a hero. Oh, girl, you good? You like fell from like the sky. Kens, welcome to your new home. Yes, come in. As you can see from the outside, it doesn't look literally anything from what it did before. We have a cute little bench out here in case you want to sit here and watch the fire that's going on. When I saw I was chosen, I let out a loud scream and my mum thought I was dying. <laughs> okay, so 
This is how the inside turned out. After you, madam. Welcome to your humble abode. I actually love this entry area. I think it's so cute. What are you staring at, punk? Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, indeed. It literally... I don't even think we can call this a renovation. Adorable. Like, this entry area alone is so cute. I love all the decals that I chose as well. I love this. I love it too. I was scared that I was going to run out of a budget for the living room, hence why it's very, very basic. But now that I think of it, I could have made it more detailed. Of course, custom-made coffee table. Oh, yeah. I promise this is custom um i promise it's not a pre-built one <laughs> we just have one single blue pillow so yeah this is the living room and then we have the dining table in this corner we didn't have much room back here so i thought adding this in the corner would be like really cute wait where did she go oh she's in her bedroom yes this is your bedroom welcome i think out of all the rooms in the house the bedroom's definitely my favorite because i mean look how elegant it looks like are you kidding me also this wallpaper that i added back here is just mwah, chef's kiss i love it her bedroom also has her own balcony which which is so cool. We've got like free chairs out here. I don't think she's seen the kitchen, but what I love about this kitchen is how open it is. Like it's not dark. There's windows like everywhere. We have a pretty clear view of the backyard. Ew, there's a raccoon outside. Oh, ew. Someone get pest control. Guys, I think the raccoon's getting a little bit mad. But yeah, this kitchen is actually so cute. Okay, now finally we have the bathroom. Now guys, I'm so excited to show you the bathroom. Like, oh, I forgot to add a decal. There was another decal that was meant to go here. You can see the point. It's honestly so cute. Like, everything in this bathroom is just mwah. And I also added fake water inside of the bathtub. So if you're using the bath, you have like lily pads on top. Although I don't know how I feel about um me eating the lily pad. Might have to change that. I'm starting to stink. Well, luckily for you, you have a whole renovated bathroom to have a shower. Okay, so I think Ken liked her new renovated home. I don't know why I'm standing behind her like a creep. But again, if you guys want me to renovate your Bloxburg house, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel or you can join my Discord server. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.